January 9th of 2023 is the day that I proposed to Mariah. I held this box up to her as you saw. And here is and the ring. Here's the ring. We are literally fiancés. Ah! She is my fiance I right now, guys. What is going real. on? Life's crazy. Life is insane. We're in Hawaii right now. We're fiancés. We're engaged. We like, are just on top of the world, I feel like. What is life? Like, life I, we've is been dreaming right? of this. Well, I've been dreaming of this for so long. And it's just crazy that I was in my dream state, so. It just all came together so good. I know Mariah has so many questions to ask me about oh, this. Yeah. Do you? Oh yeah. So yeah, we're gonna do a little story time explaining everything because I have a lot of questions for Bill. I have a lot of concerns and- Concerns, wait, No, what? not concerns, but like things that I wanna know, you know? Like, <laughs> what are you concerned about? And answers. <laughs> I can't take it back. Cause I wanna explain the story. I wanna tell you guys everything. So a little background, about six, seven months ago, I came up with the idea that I wanted to get engaged. I wanna propose to Mariah. Because we said after like a year or two of living in our house, we were ready for that next step. But yeah, just... but you did not expect this to ever happen. She mm -mm. kept pot pestering me for months and months about like, when are you going to propose? When are you going to do this and that? So behind her back, the first thing that I needed to do was buy a ring. I had to get the ring before I even thought of where to propose, when to propose, and how to propose. So I bought and I designed this ring. It was custom made. It took about two months to come in and it arrived actually when Mariah was in Boston with Julia. Insane. And that's when the ring arrived. So I did the opening box video. It was super emotional. If you did not see that video, make sure to go watch it. I cried when I opened the ring because mm -hmm. I just knew that it was the perfect ring i know what mariah likes i've been with her for six years so every single second of these six years like i just been making mental notes about everything she this likes been my dream ring since i was a little girl like i have a pinterest board of this give, give a little ring. Up, up up close view of this ring this ring was the most special part it's of got the engagement all up, like, because like i just wanted you to know how much i love you and how much i appreciate you which is why i went with this ring and why i just felt comfortable with giving it to you because you mean the world to me and we have yeah, our life together beautiful. i invested a lot of time money and energy into this ring um just to show you how much i do love you it's beautiful i absolutely love it. it's a dream and this whole this whole experience is a dream honestly so fast forward i started thinking and all of a sudden one day it just popped in my head hawaii this girl has been talking non-stop about getting married in hawaii about getting engaged ever since she was a little girl but she never thought it was gonna happen never no. so i'm like all right how do i get my girlfriend across the united states because we live in florida across the ocean to her dream state without thinking that i'm gonna propose because that's the first thing that would have popped in your head well i came up with the great plan to get our manager involved we do a lot of brand deals we do a lot of brand partnerships we love the brands that we work with so i came up with the idea that a travel agency company was sponsoring a trip out to hawaii and was going to pay for the whole thing I all we have to do telling everyone this is a paid trip this is the coolest opportunity ever we're going to hawaii i i was convinced <laughs> like there was so many things like it was just perfect i came up with everything i was texting my manager to text us and I know if it came from our management, Mariah would 100% believe it. Oh yeah. So yeah. Uh, this company flew us out to Hawaii. Mariah had no idea, and this was months and months of planning. But I'm the one that booked the hotel room, booked the plane tickets, booked the rental car, everything, and then we got sick. So we were supposed to get engaged December 4th of 2022, but we came down with the flu on the 28th, 29th of November. Yeah. And I had to cancel the trip. Okay. I literally had to cancel the flights. I had to cancel the hotel. I had to cancel. And I'm Everything. calling the manager up and I'm like, oh my God, we're sick. Like, I hope this company will want to work with us next month. Because like, she I'm, still thinks it's a company yeah, flying us out. Yeah, and I was she so no upset. And I felt bad for this company because they did all this work to book and all this stuff. And so I'm like freaking out that we're not going to be able to actually go to Hawaii, which I know we would have ended up booking something. Like, and that's when still. I texted our management saying, hey, tell Mariah that the company said that they will be able to rebook it. We'll book it sometime in January and everything's good. Luckily, they had got full refund and they're not doing the sponsorship until march so yeah, that was a good lie that was aw you guys pulled that off so i was dead sick i had 103 degree fever i'm texting my manager like just tell her that we'll rebook it and i had 103 degree fever like i couldn't even think that day and i was texting her because i was so devoted on keeping this a secret and flying your ass out to hawaii without you knowing so fast forward we got on the plane First class all the way. Mariah's talking, oh, this company must have spent so much money on these seats because they were amazing first class seats. And I'm like, yeah, this company is like awesome. They must really, you know, care about us and their clients. And Mariah just, 
thinks everything's a company. I'm delusional. Yeah, I'm delusional. Doesn't I even was, know I anything. I told so many people back at home and just like everything, like this was a paid trip and I had no clue. Even though I had a weird gut feeling that, hmm, maybe he will propose here. This is the perfect spot. So, but at the same time, I kept telling myself it's not going to happen. Don't get your hopes up. So at this point, only people that knew that I was proposing was her dad because I asked for his permission as you saw in that video. If you did not, make sure to watch it after this video as well because it's super emotional. Mm -hmm. Her dad even teared up and it made me tear up. It was just Aww. such an emotional moment. But her dad knew, my mom knew at this point, my sister's boyfriends knew. Her sister did not know. Her twin sister, I was not gonna tell. Which I understand. And because they talk every single day and I know that Megan would not be able to hold a straight face or be able to lie uh -uh. to Mariah as long as like I could. Because mm -hmm. this is the biggest lie I have ever done. Oh yeah. And a few other people knew here and there. Like Julia and like, like her, Anthony. Like her friend Julia. And in Anthony, but we flew out here. We got our hotel. We started experiencing Hawaii It was awesome and I texted our management to tell Mariah that the company is putting on a photo shoot on January 9th for at 5 p.m for the company. It's a company photo shoot that they need to do with us, which is why also they flew us out. Yeah, why? So we're driving to the photo shoot. What was going on in your head? So it's crazy because I have weird six senses. Like when I found out I was going to Hawaii, I was in J Jules and Saad's basement. I was talking to Julia and this is when Julia knew. And I was like, I have a feeling Bill might propose to me in Hawaii. And she was like, try to tell me like, no, like don't get your hopes up, blah, blah, blah. So I had six cents then, but I like didn't want to believe it. I was just, I just didn't want to expect anything or get my hopes up. So in the car on the way there, I was texting my twin sister because I'm like, Megan, I have a weird feeling that you might be proposing. Then I was like, no, I probably shouldn't be saying that because I don't want to get my hopes up and I'll be really embarrassed if it's not real and remember i forgot to tell you guys this whole time the whole two months that mariah knew about flying to hawaii i was doing everything in my power to make this girl believe that there was no possible way i was proposing i even told oh, mariah yeah. straight up i said baby please don't get upset that i'm not proposing to you in hawaii if i would have known a company was gonna fly us out i would have maybe tried to schedule it around this hawaii trip but how am i supposed to know so it really I, made it mariah made think yeah, there's no way he would be able to rush a proposal when he doesn't even have a ring. He doesn't yeah, even, because like, she didn't know I had a ring. Uh -uh. She didn't know I had any of this planned out. Um, So it was just in the back of my head, but like I said, I didn't want to get my hopes up. So when we get to the place, Bill goes, wait in the car. I want to make sure like these people are legit and they're not going to like a scam or anything. I was sitting in the car, twiddling my thumbs. Like I still had no idea. I was just nervous to meet this company because I'm just shy like that. Like I get nervous. But the reason that I had to go out there and meet the videographers that I hired to film the whole proposal is because they had to mic me up as you heard in our proposal video i had a mic on that's why i, I ran over there i took a quick video that they were micing me up once i saw the spot i'm like holy shit, this is actually happening this is the oh. perfect spot i literally flipped out my head I totally, all my nerves went away once I saw the spot. I'm like, dude, this is like effing perfect, beautiful. Yeah. It's perfect. Mariah's gonna love it. And I Wait, ran back to the car. I forgot something. So what? in the car, I was going to film a video of my hand just in case if he did, but I didn't want him to see me doing this, so I didn't film it. But I was gonna film a video of my hand being like, I have a feeling my boyfriend is proposing today. But I didn't want to do it because I had a feeling it wasn't gonna happen still, and I was just nervous. So, you wanna get your hopes up. Yeah. So the whole time, Mariah was like, this would be a perfect spot to propose, but like, there's no way he's gonna propose. Yeah, so it was like a mixed emotion. So when we're walking toward the place, this is when I'm already out of the car, he gets me and everything. I grabbed her out of the car. He was in his backpack for a while too, and I was still getting a little suspicious but then we're walking i saw a big box in his pocket i didn't have the ring on me when i first left the car mm -hmm. so i had to come back sit through my bag and act like i was grabbing our camera yeah and really i was grabbing the ring to put in my pocket and i'm looking i'm like trying not to let him notice that i'm like literally looking at it and i was like no it's probably his wallet this box is hard to hide it's a huge box oh. so when i put this in my pocket like it literally it's looks you put in your front pocket not your back i didn't have back pockets if i put it in the back you would have saw it i put it in my left pocket you were on my right and i was no trying... you had it on this pocket i didn't that's because they put the voice recorder thing underneath my phone oh 
Oh, so that. So you didn't even see this. No. So, so that was my phone. So, no, and in the mic. But the thing, it looked big, and that's why it kind of looked oh like your wallet. Oh, my God. So you never saw the box. No, I thought it was the box, though. Wow. I didn't But I thought that. it was the wallet. But so I that's it was why the wallet. it was my phone, and they put the video oh, oh recorder for the mic underneath my phone. So that's why you thought it was the box. Oh, my God. Wow. Crazy. If I would have thought about that, I would have had to put it on the other side because you didn't even see the other no. side. No. That's why I was leaning over. Yeah. Because I had the box right here. Oh, my God. Damn. So, as we're getting up to the spot, Bill goes, okay, I need you to close your eyes. The company has a huge surprise for you. We're turning to look at the Marry Me sign. I go, wait, 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 wait. Close your eyes. The company has a big, big surprise for you. I'm trying to remember the moment. I'm like trying to eyes. remember that feeling of like, whoa. Like, I still believe that the company had a surprise. Like, mm -hmm. I still believed that there was a surprise. But at the same time, I'm like, what's going on? And he goes, keep them closed. I'm like, Bill, what are you doing? He goes, nothing. They have a surprise. So now, like, by now, everyone on the beach is looking at us because they see that, you know, we're the couple walking up to the Miami sign. One of the videographers has a drone hovering by us that you couldn't even hear. I didn't even the know. The waves were so big and loud. loud you couldn't even yeah. hear the drone. So I'm walking up with Mariah. We're holding hands. We're talking. I'm checking. Like, make sure to keep your eyes closed. Make sure you keep it closed. We're about 50 feet away from the side. Did you open? He goes, Did you open? I don't remember opening my eyes when you said that, though. You open your eyes? And I think Mariah thought I said, Open your eyes. So she did. She went, I just can't remember. We haven't seen the proposal video yet. So mm -hmm. we haven't seen any of our pictures or anything yet. By so. now, when you're watching this video, we've seen every video. And I know it's beautiful, but like, we're going off of memory because this was yeah. two days ago that it happened. And I'm trying to think, like, everything. So I immediately was like, Oh, you opened your eyes and I was like, yep, this is for you. This is legit. But I kind of liked that I was able to walk up and yeah, prepare myself. I think it made it way it cuter than if I was at the thing and you walked towards me so we could have a little time to talk with ourselves. And that's when I broke the news to Mariah that this whole trip was fake. There was no, no company. company. There was no partner and of thought, any kind photo shoot. It was all me that planned it for the proposal. And even when I was still walking up before he said that, I thought that was the company filming us and video recording recording us and all this stuff. But in reality, Bill hired all those people. They weren't a company, there was no such thing. And I'm just sitting there like, I'm in shock, you guys. I like teared up, but like I couldn't get the emotions out until like after because I was just like, whoa, like what is going on? Is this real life? It felt like a dream, it felt like I it wasn't real. Maya and started crying once we were taking pictures after the proposal because that's when it hit her like, holy yeah, shit. Oh my like, God, like this is this real. This is actually like, like this happening. Is happening. And you were so cute. All of it was just just a blur. People always say this all the time, like during their weddings, they can't wait to see their wedding video because they can't remember it because it was so, it's just you're in the moment. It's so exciting and it's nerve wracking that you like everything goes over your head and it's blurry. And I didn't know what to say. I didn't plan on saying anything. I stood up there and I said, like, I had a conversation with Mariah and I was saying a couple sentences before I got on I my knee. I don't even remember what you said. <laughs> I don't even know what I said. I literally don't even know what I said because it was in the moment and it's exactly my emotions and how I felt in the moment. Yeah. I know I told you I loved you. Yeah. I know I told you all these things that I'm sure were beautiful and I got on one knee and I said, will you marry me? And you said, yes. Did you pick me up? I remember hugging you. It was such a beautiful moment. The moment of me grabbing you just made me like 10 times happier than I've ever been in my whole life. And it's like gonna make me tear up now because it's just like crazy to think about that like I actually like, Yeah, you, know, you pulled that off. Did everything. Yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. It's crazy guys, it's so insane. And then, you teared up right yeah, now? Yeah, it's, it's just crazy. Like hey. it's like, I'm just, cause I'm going back in the moment. Like, I'm I can't even remember the moment. When I literally like pulled out the ring and I was looking at you and I was just yeah. like and I was just starting to tear up because it's such an amazing moment like it's just it like it is uh, oh baby don't cry it's beautiful it and I beautiful. it's everything it's, like I've been planning this but for thing. months you were planning it so you knew and the build up like you're able to kind of process it more than I was able to process it because well, like, I know I shocked the out of you especially because you thought it was a whole company ordeal <laughs> and it was just me all along really did so to cut the chase all I have we took photos and everything we come home and there was a firework show on oh, the Oh my ocean. god. Literally the day that I proposed, I'm not even kidding, there's fireworks. And it's Did literally the, the night I proposed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold on guys, one second. The night that you proposed, there are fireworks. What the hell? I totally forgot I booked, I booked this. No, you didn't. Yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> I was gonna say, what? It's literally I made our whole engagement ten right times now. better. Dude, everyone's going crazy here in Hawaii. Let's go. How ironic is that? That that just happened tonight. That just Special ended the night. whole night. This was the best night ever. This is the best day. This is the best night of the year. I love you. I love you. <laughs>
For what reason? It was a Monday night yeah. at nine at night. Who is doing a fireworks show? There weren't even people out. There were like maybe 30 people on the beach and all of a sudden, right in front of our hotel, to remind you if you don't know, our hotel is at the end of the, all the hotel strips. What are the odds that in front of our hotel, right in our ocean view, there is a fireworks show. humongous fireworks show. Mega money, like they put into that fireworks show. Like it was just crazy and ironic that it's almost like they knew. And it was like, just like the icing on the cake. It was just perfect. I couldn't have asked for a better day, a better night. And it's just crazy that it's actually real. Once I see the photos and the videos, I get to feel like I get to relive it and I get to actually feel all of the emotions I'm and just everything. So happy. Like, like the beach uh, was perfect. And do I know it's crazy? That's not the beach that I wanted to propose I'm at. I'm glad that you I wanted that, to though. propose at the beach that we took photos at yesterday, but this beach ended up being even better because oh. the, the one that I wanted to, they don't allow commercial filming there. It was so way better. when we went to this beach, right when I saw it, the sunset, oh. the water, the waves, oh. the rocks that they had there with the fur growing on it was just beautiful. Everything that I've ever pictured, it was <sighs> 10 times better than I ever could. Oh my God, guys, it was so freaking How do you beautiful. feel about it? Because I know I'm talking a lot about it. Just I'm I had talking a lot, of, a lot about no, no, it. No, no, I'm just saying just because I had a lot of like, this was all in my head. I feel so, like, like. how do you feel like everything? Oh, I'm blessed. I'm thankful. This is the best moment of my life. I've been dreaming of it. And the fact that I've dreamed of being here and getting married here one day, even though I was I'm never actually going to do that because I know how hard it is. But it was just the, the thought since I was a little girl and it actually happened and it wasn't a company. I feel like we've been waiting for this moment. For, well, I've been waiting for this moment for so long and I felt like it was never going to happen and it finally happened it's like, insane it's literally a blessing that everything went good oh. even though we literally went through the one of the hardest like or i went through the one one of the hardest months of the year with having to reschedule everything and oh. basically booked the trip twice like it ended up being the perfect let me perfect say this day. he told me i had a christmas gift he told me i had oh multiple birthday gifts i totally forgot so he let, told me i got a louis purse for christmas we were supposed to i was supposed to propose on december 4th so i wasn't going to get her anything for christmas you or for her birthday Day because I did spend a, you know, a really good amount of money on this and I put so much time and effort that I didn't have any time and effort to put into like Christmas gifts and birthday yeah, gifts because I understand. this was all going to be like bundled into one. It was going to be just an amazing December birthday, Christmas, mm -hmm. New Year's gift. And when I got sick, everything that I ever thought was just like, oh my God, now Mariah thinks that I'm, I don't have anything for Christmas for her. She's going to think that I, I didn't get anything for her birthday and she's not even going to know that I had a freaking proposal planned. Yeah. Yeah, I so, know. And I was really sad though on Christmas Day because oh my I felt like he didn't. Like it was like it was stupid. And I know it, gifts don't matter, but they I, don't. I, but I wish I got. Like, you know what I mean? Come on, if if your loved one that you've been with for six years didn't get you even a card or a flower, yeah. wouldn't you think that they didn't love you or they didn't like appreciate it was just you a thought. after it was you just, getting me so much yeah. stuff? So that's why if you look back on our Christmas videos, I said that my gift was delayed and I wish it was here there today. Was no gift. There was no <laughs> gift. That gift that I got got her was all fake and I said it was delayed, 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 delayed all the way up until Monday when I proposed. So is this necklace like the amount of money you said it was? Okay, so I ran to a jeweler and I got her this necklace on her birthday just so I can have something for her birthday so she really doesn't think that I forgot about her. And that necklace is legit. Yeah, it, it's legit. It's not fake. It's not a gumball. He was lying the whole trip. He was lying the whole month. month. So I, yeah. needed, I needed to know facts. No, I needed me, to know what was going on. trust me, trust me. Literally like that necklace is not a gumball necklace. <laughs> I really like I would have gotten something for you like that even if I wouldn't propose but I just yeah. I had to get something to get your mind off of me forgetting Christmas and and think that I forgot your birthday because oh, I didn't guys this is just a dream and I hope you guys are enjoying all of our videos and there is so much more to come as I'm so happy. I told you guys we have huge things planned for 2023 and whether that was to get proposed in, in December or January either oh, way the new year is already starting off crazy let me just show you the view really quick this is what we've been looking at the past couple of days in Hawaii. It's absolutely a dream come true. Such a beautiful, amazing view, amazing state with my amazing fiance. Aww. It's so weird to say. Ew, it's so weird. It's fiance. crazy. Now we gotta plan a wedding. I know. Oh my gosh. Marble Squad, guys. stay tuned. Oh, so much content. It's gonna be crazy. Oh. And then we also have to plan where we're going for our honeymoon. Oh yeah. Because we've already been to Hawaii. Did we come back here? Go Honestly, I wouldn't hate coming back here. I wouldn't hate it going Because then we can islands. see where I proposed again, but we get to island hop. We can go to different islands if we want we can see where i proposed again you know we can go to maui we can go to 
um, we'll definitely Kauai figure it whatever. out because I also really want to go to Bora Bora. Bora Bora, yeah. There's like different places, so we're gonna figure that Where out. Where should we take our honeymoon? Because we need to start a honeymoon fund right yeah. now. We need I to start go explore, saving up. Like, I want to go explore something else since we already been to Hawaii. Like, I want to go somewhere else, you know, like yeah. for our honeymoon. I, I totally agree. Like, we're, we're so tropical now. Like, I want to see more of the world now. Yeah. After seeing Hawaii, it makes me so confident that we can go anywhere and, and just the clear have blue fun. Ocean. Oh so my god, the beautiful. ocean. I can't wait to go swimming in it. Uh, um, but we love you guys so much. Thank you so much for staying tuned with our journey. Make sure to follow us on Instagram if you have not already because we've been posting so many Hawaiian pictures. We have our engagement photos on there, so make sure to go see those and like them up. Comment down below on our Insta that you came yes. from this video. And stay tuned because the videos are only going to get better this Woo! year. We're an engaged couple. Oh my God, the sky, sky's the limit. It's so Next crazy. is wedding, then kids. Like, we're oh, growing up. We're growing up here. Yeah, we're we growing are. Up. We're growing up. It's, we are. it's insane. But we love you guys so much, and we will see you in the next video. But until then, peace. peace. Love, love you guys. guys.